the Las Vegas Raiders, we all know what happened with them, with John Gruden, and, and, um, and how Derek Carr has been a leader in the locker room for, for that. That's one situation that can throw a team off kilter. And the way that Derek Carr has played since Gruden has resigned has been nothing short of remarkable. And again, the role that he is apparently playing in the locker room with a bunch of guys who are upset that Gruden resigned or maybe upset that Gruden had to resign being a sign of our times, even though Gruden was no longer a tenable head coach in a corporate world, also one world in which he has to look at female officials and say, you know, that was just a joke. And he has to look at Carl Nassib, the first openly gay player within his own locker room and say, everything that I said about being in your corner, I, it, that was just a joke. I, I am in your corner. Like, it, it's not tenable. But that's also one thing. Now there's a matter of life and death that's been placed in their locker room. Henry Ruggs made the worst decision of his life because it took the life of another person and also destroyed his life and career. And it's for somebody who uh, also, when celebrates a touchdown by remembering a friend of his who died in a car accident, it's even particularly cruel that his awful, awful decision to get behind the wheel of a car impaired and ram it in the back of another woman named, I think, Tina Tinton is her name, and her dog died mere blocks from her house just because she's in her car and a drunk Henry Ruggs rear-ended her. It's awful. But Ruggs is also a teammate of theirs that's suddenly gone. And Derek Carr, in speaking yesterday, spoke eloquently about the woman who died but also about his teammate. And this is what's so very important for his team. My heart goes out so much. Um, try and say it with a straight face because um, I've already been emotional about every bit of this. Um, but to the family, um, to all the families involved, uh, you know, you never want to, no one ever wants to see this, whether it's a football player or not. You never want to see something like this happen. And, um, you know, it broke, it broke my wife and I's heart, you know, honestly. I will always be here for him. Um, that won't change, and I'll prove that over the course of time to him, um, not to anybody else. Uh, but uh, he needs people to love him right now. Um, he's probably feeling a certain type of way about himself right now, and he needs to be loved. And uh, if no one else will do it, I'll do it. I will tell you, I walked by and I, you know, saw Henry's locker today, and for whatever reason, that got me, you know, like, like he's not, it's not going to be there, you know, um, not because he's fast, not because of what he could do for me, but because of the person that he is and because I love him. And, uh, um, he, I mean, he literally texted me at, you know, at midnight, a uh, golf swing, you know, hit me and Hunter, you know, um, how's my swing look? You guys need to help me, <laughs> you know, and, uh, bro, um, just, just seeing that and then getting the news when we woke up, I just, I could, I mean, I don't even know how to, how am I supposed to handle that? He also said, did I not let him know that he can reach out to me at three in the morning? And he would have went and got him. Which is one of the many messages out of this is people just call a friend, wake him up. It's worth it. You don't want to kill somebody and you don't want to wind up in jail. That's where Henry Ruggs' life is right now, and Derek Carr recognizing that that's where that is and saying that he'll be there for them, and he's there for his teammates, and he's the quarterback. They're asking him, can you comment on this? How do you comment on this? There's no, there's no playbook for this sort of thing. He spoke from the heart, and personally, I think this is a way bigger challenge for this team to try and figure out how to play football than what happened with their coach. Yeah. And, and, and so Derek Carr is going to be one of the most valuable Raiders here and also in the community where somebody just got wiped off the planet just for merely getting behind the wheel of the, her car. There's an open wound in Las Vegas, Nevada right now. And so I say to Derek Carr, we're with you too and we're with the family of the woman who's deceased. And they're hoping that Henry Ruggs finds some sort of peace and solace in what he has done. Still here on Peacock. I don't know what else to say. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's uh, a great uh, so point. The, yep. the, the point is, is don't be Henry Ruggs, man. Yeah. Bottom line. Don't be Henry Ruggs. 
because there for the grace of God go you when you get behind the wheel of a car. And you cannot, you cannot get behind the wheel of a car impaired. Just call somebody, call, and I'm like, that's the thing about how needless this is. There, there are programs for NFL players. Yeah, to hit to hit a button and a car is sent for you. That's it. Didn't we find out, Chris, that NFL players get free? Yeah, well, that was have, yeah. They I have mean, a car service. Every team has it. Mm. Not to mention Uber, Lyft, everything else I mean, that's available. I think it, it goes without saying, but and I just want to say in Las and, Vegas, and I, and I know that might be some people out there that are offended me saying that I hope Rugs finds solace in what he's done. But I mean, honestly, like he, he's texting about golf swings. He's, you know, also, try, trying also, to. He has to live the rest of his, his life, life with, with this. this, right? And that's what Derek Carr is saying. He's going to be there for him. And and I'm like I said, I'm I'm I feel awful for this woman's family. And I, you know, yeah. and any awful. just putting it in football terms might come across as diminishing it. But this is you know a team that does have to play a game on Sunday and throughout the rest of the year, and I'm genuinely concerned for And Derek him. also talked about that. He's like, look, I know this is so awful, and I'm going to have to comment on this, but I also have to do my job is get ready for a game and on a leader, Sunday and be a most leader of this team. valuable player in that locker room. Oh, so difficult. You know, it's like you said, like, I, I think I feel differently as I get older about things, you know, and mm-hmm. Tina sitting there. We've all been on the freeway. I've been on the 405 at midnight. And I'll see a car, and I'm doing 70. I'll look in my rear view, and I'll see a car has to be barreling, doing 100. Right, and you kind of brace yourself. Yeah. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Right. So, like, in those seconds for her, man, like, that 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 kills you. And for Henry no, Ruggs, no. right? Like, I've never heard anything bad about him, and people were taking shots, understandably. But this dude made an error, which he will never get over, which it, not only ruined her family, but his family was set up for generational wealth, and now that's taken away. Like, this whole thing is just... The tragedy. Tragic, awful. man. And it's awful. And I don't know why I feel so bad. I mean, I guess I do know why, because a human being is gone. But, like, man. Oh, you're a good man, TJ. It, 